solve equation in quadratic form. So we have an equation here which really doesn't look like a quadratic equation. It is 2 square root x minus x plus 8 equals to 0. Now, you know, we can do some substitution and then make it in quadratic form and then it will be easier for us to solve it. So let's do a substitution here. So what I will write as let square root of x be equal to t. In that case, x will be t square, correct? When you square it, you get x equals to t square. So we'll do this substitution and solve our equation. So the equation gets modified and we can write 2 square root x as 2t, right? So it will be 2t minus x means minus t square. Minus t square plus 8 equals to 0. Plus 8 equals to 0. So that, that's what we get. Now that's a quadratic equation. Now we'll, we'll prefer to write this as positive. So let's multiply by negative both sides. Or we can say take this to the other side. Either way. So we get 0 equals to t square minus 2t minus 8. Right? Now this can be factored. So for factoring we need two numbers whose product is minus 8. So let's say our numbers are p and q and their product is minus 8. And when you add them you should get minus 2. So the two numbers could be minus 4 and 2. When you add them, you get minus 2. When you multiply, you get minus 8. So we can factor this, right, very easily by substituting minus 2 as minus 4 and 2. Now, so we get t minus 4 times t plus 2. So that's what we get. Now, this could be 0 for t equals to 4 or for t equals to minus 2, correct? Both will give us the answer. But we are really interested in finding what x is. But t is square root of x, right? So we can substitute instead of t square root of x. So let's do that. So we get square root of x is equals to 4. Or square root of x is equals to minus 2. But you know, square root can never be negative. So that does not exist, okay? So it does not exist. But we do have a solution here, right? So the solution here is that x could be square. Let's square both sides and get the value of x, right? So x is equal to 16, right? So 16 could be the right answer, right? Now if we square, square root can never be, so this is not a solution. But this definitely is a solution. So let's try it out whether it works or not. So if I substitute x as 16 in my equation, what do I get? So we'll check x equals to 16, right? So let's do it and see what do we get. So we get 2 square root of 16 minus 16 plus 8. Square root of 16 is 4, right? So we get 2 times 4 minus 16 plus 8. 2 times 4 is 8, so we get 8 minus 16 plus 8, which is equal to 0, which is the right side, right? So therefore, this solution is correct. And therefore, we have a solution that x equals to 16 is solution of our equation, correct? So that's how we're going to solve this equation. See how substitution helped us to write the equation in a quadratic form and then we can use our factoring skills to find the answer. Correct? I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.